Welcome back to my Mythic Mobs for Starters tutorial playlist. Today we're going to be covering equipment. Now, as always, I'm going to copy and paste something that I have set up here. And we're going to throw this in. This is basically what your mob is going to be wearing. Or wielding, of course. If you are a 1.13 user, or above, or 1.12 even, I do believe, you can type in the bucket material name. So we're just going to go ahead and give my legion mob iron armor. So we're going to type in iron underscore helmet colon four. Now what does the colon and number mean here? Well these are the slots on which your mob is going to be holding its equipment. So um, the number four is going to be on its head, number three is going to be chest, two is legs, and one is boots. After that you are going to have two other ones, which is five, which is for your offhand slot, and zero, which is your main hand slot. Let me go ahead and set that up for you. This is what it'll look like whenever you have all of your equipment set up. Do know that equipment is entirely optional and you do not have to have any of it at all if you do not wish to, or you can make a zombie or any other mob you want not have a specific thing. For example, you can make it have all iron armor except for a helmet. You do not have to add equipment at all if you do not wish to. But to show you what this looks like, helmet number four, chest number three, leggings number two, boots number one, offhand five, main hand zero. So let's go ahead and reload and sh uh, spawn in our mob here. As you can see, he has all the equipment that we specified. He definitely looks like he is ready for a fight. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about this. This here is going to be, or the equipment here, can be whatever item you want it to be. For example, if you were to make a mythic mob armor piece or item, you could assign it here instead. To prove what I'm trying to talk about, we're going to make a new helmet called Legion Helmet. Let's go ahead and save this. Next you're going to want to head over into your items file. I already have one made here. So what I decided to do is, for the sake of this, I'm actually going to give him a new sword too just to show you the difference here. Legion Sword, Legion Helmet. If you are using 1.12 or above, you can type in the name of the material in the beginning here. If you are using lower than that, you are going to have to use the item ID. You, there are plenty of websites out there that you can type in uh, and search the IDs for. I highly recommend typing Minecraft ID list and looking it up. And the very first one should have a very big list that you can search through of all the item IDs. Since we do not need that in this uh, version of the tutorial I'm doing, all we're going to need to type is whatever we want, which for me is going to be a leather helmet. Next you have your display name. Again, this is just going to be the name that shows whenever you are holding the item. For example, in blue it says bow, in blue it says diamond sword. That's all that this is going to be. Whenever you scroll over it, it's going to say Legion Helmet. Next we have the lore here. You don't have to have this space, but one thing you will always need is your dash, and then your set of single quotation marks around the lore that you want. I'm going to go ahead and put that back. By default, the lore will always be purple. You can change this with color formatting that you decide to add in front of it. For me, I did and R, so that way it would turn back to white. Next are options. There's a third option called repairable. You can set that to false if you want, um, if you don't want players to be able to use it on an anvil. However, all we want is unbreakable, which means it will never break, and color. Color is done only on leather equipment and it's done in RGB red-green-blue format. So red is 0, 
Green is blue. Or what, green is blue. Green is zero. Blue is 255. So this is going to be a very blue looking helmet. Next, you have enchantments. The enchantments do have custom names, so you will have to look it up on the Mythic Mobs manual. But basically what this does is this means it's going to be unbreaking one, which is what durability is. And this means it's going to have projectile protection, a uh, value of 10. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Let's kill off Legion. Whoops. And let's spawn him back in. So now he's wearing the helmet that we gave him as well as the sword that we created for him. If I type in MM item get Legion helmet, we'll see all the stuff we came up with. As you can see, very blue has the lore that we set, Hat of a Warrior, and it has Unbreaking, and apparently Flame 10. I did the wrong thing there. Um, the one that I gave it was, uh, well, Flame, which is meant to be used on a bow, but that's okay. At the bottom, you can see, went on head, one armor, and it has an Unbreakable tag. That means no matter how much damage I take while wearing it, it will never lose durability. Next, let's talk about the sword, because there is something very significant I added about the sword. Down here, there's an attributes section. If you want to have specific attributes, you're going to have to type in attributes after having two spaces. Next is going to be your slot. This is going to be either head, chest, legs, or feet, or main hand, or off hand. Basically, this only affects players. So, say if we are holding the sword in our main hand, we are going to get a health bonus of 10 and an extra point of movement speed. So, let's go ahead and see. As you can see, my health went up by 5 hearts, because that's what the value of 10 is. For every point of health, that is going to be equal to half a heart. As well, You'll notice I'm moving around significantly faster when I'm holding it. That is because of the bonus movement speed value. You generally don't have to mess around with the items too much. There are some occasions, for example, whenever giving an undead mob a helmet, you're going to want to make it unbreaking because I have found that for some odd reason the, um, the helmets take damage over time and will eventually break if it's on a mob. I'm not sure if this is because it's protecting the mob from sunlight damage, or what the case is, but you are going to want to make it set to unbreaking, unless you have it planned that it loses its armor at some point in the fight. As well with items, generally most uh, servers have their own items plugin, so you won't have to mess with it too awfully much, however the options are still there if you choose to do so. That's all I have for you in this tutorial, and I hope you have found it helpful. Make sure to take a look on the manual page for any other attributes, as there are many more that you can add, but I just added these two just to show you guys the basics. Again, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for future tutorials. I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.